Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how we can split a repository from a, our existing repository. So assume there is a possibility if you, you, you have a repository and it has many holders and stuff like that. And there is a possibility you want to create a new repository out of uh, existing repository folder, something like that. Maybe I'll show you this repository in a folder, I mean VS Code. So you can see it has three folders, A, B, and C. A also has a folder called D and D also has a folder called E. And wh what is the requirement? The requirement is to create a new repository which will have the content of D folder. That's it. Okay. So what we how we can achieve it? First, let's uh, check out this folder. So I have already done it. So you can see a hyphen one. I will show you three examples. So and make sure like uh, you clone your repository because after executing the command, it will spoil. I mean, it will you know uh, disturb the folders. So this is just for splitting purpose. After that, your original repository should not disturb that's why i'm saying you can clone it or copy the folder and target folder in your local machine so i have uh, cloned it with the same hyphen one i'll show you three examples of doing the same so i'm using tortoise grid for the one prom i'm using git bash i'm tor sorry tor not tortoise grid. i'm just using a git bash command prom okay so let's see the current folder structure first you can use this command so it's showing the same it has the folders like a b and c and stuff like that okay so what you need to do first you need to you know install one uh, plugin okay the package make sure you have a python install on your local machine otherwise uh, you know this will not work so i think i have already installed it let's double check that this is the uh, plugin i am talking about git hyphen filter hyphen repo so looks like it's already satisfied it's showing it's already there so if it's already there you can just directly go ahead and you know execute this command git filter hyphen repo hyphen path and you need to give the path from where you want to create a new you know new repository so it will not create it just you know filter out that folder so if you see uh, in here you have a b and c inside a you have a d so from there i want to create a new repository so that is why the path is like a slash d i'll say enter Okay, so now if this you, you see that the folder is changed, this hyphen one. That is why I was saying it will spoil because you won't be able to get it back. There are ways, but let's not get into that. So safer side is always you have a backup of this folder. I mean your repository. Okay, it will not uh, disturb your uh, you know remote branch. Only local. Everything we are doing local. In the end, we will push the content to the new repository. So you can see it has folders like A and B. Sorry, A has a D. And D has a folder called E, and uh, it also has the X own file. Okay, so let's go back to the home and stuff like that. Okay, let me show you the command for again, and I will show you the. I have uh, one more thing I forgot to say. You need to create the future uh, repository. I will say so. I want to show you three examples. That's why I've already created these repositories on the GitHub already because we need these parts. Okay, so so far what we have done is. We have checked out I make we clone the folder existing one and then what we did we uh, install this uh, uh, git hyper filter repository uh, so git hyper uh, filter repo plugin and then we executed like so that we can filter out the folder which we want to create from that which we want to split the folder okay so now what you need to do you need to say I want to move this to uh, the remote branch nothing but this hyphen one okay so for this you can use this command Oh, not this one sorry let me copy it again okay so i'm saying git remote add and you can give whatever name you want to give which is for local and then the path this path should be correct so i'll show you from where i got this path you, you this path is over here okay and you can see i'll refresh this right now this is completely empty i'll go back to the command prompt and he'll hit enter so this is done now we just need to put the post the changes okay so changes are done now let's refresh this and you can see now it has a slash d d has its own file and it has e because d was having the folder called e and it's on a file also and the best part is it has history so that is why we are doing like this otherwise we can simply copy the folder and put it into new repository of the split one or split two or whatever it is the main part is the history the whatever commits we have done so if you see it has seven commits seven commits for these folder also but we are focusing only on the d folder okay so it has only three commits that is why you are seeing all only three commits over so if you go back you can see commit one commit two commit five 
you can click in either of one you can see the difference okay so that is why we are going with this command so it's retaining the history as well so that is what it is important one thing is uh you should observe is it has the path as well what we said we want to create a new repository from the d d contain but it is still maintaining the path a slash d and then it has some uh, all the contain if you go this if you see the original one so original has abc so it copy the entire folder but the contain he it copied only for from the d so in the next example we will see how we can you know overcome or oh, i will uh, remove this a i mean to say that okay so i okay so as, as i already told you i have only copied this uh, original repository into the second folder as well so this is the one and you can see let's close this uh, existing one we don't need this one let's open again that git bash again from this path okay so here is the git bash and uh, you can use the command again to check uh, if you want to check uh, let's say it's showing all the files and after that what you need to do there is a small change that like after this uh, earlier we were having only this much now we are saying hyphen path hyphen rename a slash d so this piece will be renamed to test so folder name will be test let's hit enter okay that is done now if you want to see the path again like uh, i mean the structure of the uh, directory so it has now so this a slash d completely replaced by test and test is the root folder now and that has a file called d and that has a folder called e and e has a file called e again all right so if you push now to the second one okay so this is done let's go back to split two let me refresh it so now you can see in split a if i go to the root one it has something like a slash d which is replaced by test and test has the all the contents of the folder d okay now but what if your requirement is like you want to move all the content all the content of a d directly to the root so that is what we will see in the split three example okay let's uh, do that so for that we need to again as i told you let, let's go to a split uh, three folder i mean to say so you can see it has all the files a b and c again let me close this uh, git bash and open a new one all right so now what we can do we can just simply you know enhance our that, uh, command so i am saying after filter i am saying a slash d hyphen hyphen force and there is a small change i am saying hyphen hyphen sub directory hyphen filter so that is the parameter you want to pass it i mean you should pass it and that is what we want now once you do that but before that i want to show you the i mean the current folder structure so current is still we have everything then we will uh, copy this command let me copy it again now you observe once it is as well let's see the now you see it has definitely all these folders by a full pipe and the I mean file path and then it has e folder and e has its own file okay if there is no folder directly i mean there is no folder involved in if you want to go in the folder explorer you can see here it has e and e has its own file and d folder was completely i mean content of d is completely replaced to the root folder so that is what our requirement is all right so now after that uh, steps are same let's move this content to split the repository looks like it's done let's go back to the browser and refresh and now you see it has all the content of d directly in the root folder so in the first example it was having i mean it it, it was having folder called a and d and the second example we renamed that to the folder called test and the third example we moved the entire content itself to the root folder so likewise for example if you have a very repo, a big repository and that uh, over a period of time you want to split some piece of that you can do with this uh, command all right that's pretty much about this video thank you very much